Titillating Tuesday. Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? Right, Titillating Tuesday, 30th of January 2024. Uh, review <coughs> for the week just gone. Yeah, I'm having to meditate through this. Yeah, all kinds of uh, weird energies about. Yeah. I'm sure lots of you is feeling them kind of weird energies. I'm looking at the um, normal sites that I go to to check, uh, I don't know, um, earth weather, space weather, and things appear to be getting sanitized. So um, you're just going to have to play it by ear and just use your eyes and see what's happening and try and deduce what's behind it. Normally, it's the sun letting off a flare <coughs> or I'm causing all kinds of geomagnetic storms and um, interplanetary storms as well, magnetic storms. Yeah, so um, you, we've got enough um, sensing ability with our minds and body um, bodies to be able to deduce um, when it's a natural um, resonance that's causing um, whatever events are happening in your life um, computers start to glitch it's normally cosmic rays um, proton storms um, they might or might not admit admit to um, having that happening to us um, so we don't know because um, people are getting <coughs> very shook and they don't want to scare them anymore um, so when we notice the um, increase in um, um, supernatural and paranormal activity, yeah, um, it means that we're heading towards a peak. <laughs> and when there's a decrease from there, then we know that we're heading towards a trough. So things that you know happen on very rare occasions, if they start to become commonplace, then you know that we're heading towards then you know that there must be some um, kind of um, supernatural activity whether it's paranormal or not we don't know um, so um, if you see like maybe it's rare to see a sun dog and then you start seeing loads of them up here all of a sudden and if that escalates and the whole sky is filled with sun dogs then you know <laughs> that um, well there must be some kind of peak somewhere things can't just keep blooming endlessly they might do but um, everything in the universe um, the way we describe the universe is finite so um, if you started to make um, everything in the universe that is physical yeah if you somehow had technology you turn everything into an apple you have a finite number of apples uh, because you run out of physical uh, objects to turn into apples <laughs> So everything is finite. Everything's finite. You can't have a concept without attaching uh, material to it. Because if you have uh, the number one, it's meaningless. It's imaginary. Unless you say number one or one of what? Uh, one apple, one pear. But if you just say one, it don't mean that. Same with zero. You can't have nothing without having something to attach to it. Nothing of what? Nothing of an apple. Okay, that's nothing. Um, you can't be looking for nothing when it's not attached to something <laughs> nothing doesn't exist unless it's attached to something and something <laughs> I don't know if you can say it backwards <laughs> I haven't gone through it yet anyway today's joke how do you spell <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's T-F-U-U-U <laughs> That's how you spell spit. Yeah, I was thinking about how you spell in that, but um, you kind of, tff, yeah, but tff, if you do it quick, it's a spit. This has been a spit today, late in Tuesday. Let me make it five minutes. Yeah, what else can I talk about to fill it? Um, yeah, it's been that kind of week, innit? Uh, very turbulent, as I expected. Um, those of you who've seen my uh, live. Um, broadcasts um, you can 
see where I made prophecies and I said that if they started doing certain things you start to see an increase in certain um, activity like destructive activity <laughs> on earth yeah so obviously if you start to see an increase in, in destruction it means that around me people are, go and um, look at my live um, broadcasts and uh, um, you see the prophecies I've made concerning that it just seems to me that every year it's the, that old adage, isn't it? There's a sucker born every minute. So <laughs> it's as if that's why we have to. There are people who are reading the Bible every day, reading the same story every day, because there's always someone being born who don't know that shit yet and needs to hear it again. It's the same with people who don't know. <clears throat> yeah. What happens when you visit my mind without consent? So there's always some fool that's turned up that's never known. And they always deduce that you have to use like you know those kind of electromagnetic devices i think they call it anti um what's it called it's a deterrence uh, active denial system <laughs> where they zap you like you're in some crowd control but in a residential <laughs> so, when they start doing that to me you see an increase in the destruction that's coming from where they are um some kind of resonance in our genetic structure and um uh, the protagonists in nature they're disturbing them once they're very very determined to keep and preserve their status quo but so is nature nature prevented presented pre created some of us <laughs> to be above others and that has to be preserved and uh, if you don't get that it's not my fault no none of us here in the west know uh what our position is yeah, position is in life so um if somebody tries you and you notice <coughs> Uh, a correlation between the attempt to um, destroy you and an increase in uh, you can figure out where you are in the grander scheme of things so um, yeah that's it <laughs> I don't want to reveal too much titillate in Tuesday 30th of January 2024 I'm out titillating Tuesday Tuesday does it make you laugh does it make you laugh? Like, subscribe, share.